you guys are honoring your seniors this mm -hmm. weekend. You know what? What do you say about this senior class, given that there were some other seniors that were a part of the class that are no longer here, and this was the group that did stick around after everything that happened in the last year or so? I'm so thankful for the senior class and what they've done. They've contributed so much to this program. Like, it was important for them to stay and to be a part of this program. And I think anytime you know, you're know you a senior, you always want to leave the program better than when you first came in. And I think that was important to our senior group, uh, to watch them become leaders and to um, stand strong for this program. I'm just very proud of them. I wish I could have gotten a couple more years with them, but I'm glad and I'm fortunate that I got one year with them. How do you summarize just what this year has been as we're kind of coming around the turn toward the end of the season? Mm -hmm. What this last 13 months just has kind of been like for you taking over a program with everything that happened with the transfers, beating LSU and UCLA? I mean, mm -hmm. what, what has this year been like? It's It's been rewarding, and you could go, huh, how? But it, it has because I appreciate the athletes that stayed and wanted to fight for each other and fight for this program. And... Um, have the same expectation that we've had since day one. That that was really important to me, and to so to see our athletes grow on the field, off the field, um, as people, as student athletes. To watch that whole transformation this year has been great. Has it been hard and difficult at times? Yes. Has it been worth it? Absolutely, 100 percent. Is that a conversation you've had with them? Because a couple of them said, and you've seen on social media where they said this team is so strong, it's made us grow so strong. Mm -hmm. Have you had that kind of, not just about them as softball players, but off the field, what this has been like for them to fight through this adversity? Sure. I, You know, they come here and we, we get these athletes for four years, you know, and they come in a time where they're they're moving tw into adulthood. And mm -hmm. it's I think it's important for them to be able to deal with this adversity because it's going to help them deal with adversity in the workplace and in life and with their family. And so not only are we stronger on the field, but I just think for them as people, they've grown up so much and um, have learned so much from it. There's just been a lot of growth. And you can look at the win-losses and go, well, you know, your your record is this, but I think it's, it's so much more than what our record. I think it's watching this team come together, watching their culture be created, watching them really fight for each other and fight for the program and never say die. And, you know, there's been so many times this year where they could easily have been like, I can't, this is just too much. And they don't. They, they get up, they dust themselves off, and they go to work. I know the fan base in certain ways kind of fractured a bit in the aftermath of, of everything that, that did happen. Do you, do you feel like what you guys have shown this year, whether that be the fight or some of the upset wins, is maybe built back some of that goodwill with that fan base, maybe the attendance next year kind of returns to what it had been as opposed to sort of fans feeling out what this team might be this season? I, I appreciate our fan, our fan base and what they've done. You know, the, the crowds that we've been having have been great. And um, they see our situation. And so to get their support and, and them to appreciate what these athletes have done and that they're playing out of position and they're um, taking on new roles and that they have this never say die attitude and that they're going to fight all the way to the end. Our fans appreciate that, and um, like I said, I think it's going to go such a long way for this program and for our athletes that are currently here. I think it'll be a great opportunity for Cherish and April and our seniors that are going on to that next chapter in their lives, you know, to be able to handle things that come their way because of what they dealt with this year. With the stakes are what they are, does, do you try to get Jordan a day off this weekend when you don't have to, or, or don't have to win with when it's just the postseason's off? Do you try to give her a break on the, the middle game? We, we go into this weekend like we would any other weekend, so we'll just take it game by game and, and go from there. But we're nothing, um, there's no different expectation this weekend because we're out of the race. We, it's important for us to finish strong, so we'll just take it game by game like we've been doing all year. How big of a building block has Sid emerged? for you this year, speaking of a player you could have for four years to kind of build with? Yeah, Rachel, Rachel's, she's a great athlete. Um, I think she's one that you'll see um, really, like she's been leading on the field um, towards the end of the season as well. I, I think the growth for her and the rest of the freshmen has been tremendous this year. And to take this experience into the, their next three years, um, it's hard because like right now you don't see it maybe but next year we're going to be sitting here talking and you're going to go oh my gosh remember last year and wow i can't believe what that has done Th those are the conversations that we're going to be having about here, them I'm sorry you came here with a lot of experience as an assistant coach mm -hmm. i'm guessing 
what are you what did you learn about leading a program this year oh just there's there's a lot obviously like I mean you've got a full plate when you're you're the head coach but um, I love it I've loved every bit about it has there been a lot of adversity to deal with sure but then it you know to me if if I'm asking my athletes to fight through things and and to pick themselves up and let's go then I've got to be willing to do the same thing so I think Anytime maybe things don't go your way, you get tested. You get tested as an individual. You get tested as a coach. And, you know, how are you going to respond? How are you going to handle it? So I think it's been a great experience for all of us. Um, difficult, yes. You know, not always fun with what we had to deal with, but rewarding because I know um, great things are going to come of it and have already come of it. Would you have done anything differently? I'm sorry? Would you have done anything differently? You know, I'm not one to second guess. I, you know, anytime I do things, I always uh, think things through pretty clear. And when I make decisions, I don't like to do things on a whim. So all I can do is, is trust my instincts and then learn, you know, from things that were positive and things that were negative. We introduced Shay into the caching position. How have you been impressed by her on the defense this, this season? Shay, um, great. I mean, I can't say enough about Shay. I think going into the season, that was the thing that people were really concerned with is, are we going to have a catcher? And um, I think she's succeeded our expectations. I mean, she's been brilliant behind the plate. You know, um, she handles our pitching staff extremely well. Nobody wants to run on her. She handles the short game. I, I can't say enough that what she's done. And then also in times when we've needed her to go into other positions, that she's like, sure, coach, where do you want me to go? So I, I think uh, Shay's been great. Kind of a natural segue with that, Missy. How, what has your perspective been in seeing Tara these last four months? We're clearly she's not able to compete, but just having her around and how different, I asked Shay in particular about how different the season might have been had she been, had ASU not put up this fight and resistance. From your perspective, when you're dealing with such a thin team, what you can say it's a difference of two or three games possibly for the postseason. How different could your season have been had they not done this? Yeah, I, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, do I think she could have helped us? Absolutely. I mean, that's why we wanted her from the very beginning. But I, um, you know, I'm a believer in things work the way they're supposed to work. So there's a reason why we're not supposed to have her this year. Well, I don't know, because <laughs> we definitely could have used her. But there's something that we're not supposed to have her this year. We're supposed to have her the next four years. And if that's what it's supposed to be, then that's what it's supposed to be. I, I believe, especially as in coaching, um, when you're talking with your athletes, we talk a lot about the process. If you get caught up in the outcome, then you're not going to really get what you want. It's important that you understand and you trust in the process. And I think even with Tara's situation, I just have to trust in the process that we're just not supposed to have it this year. Did you, just, did you ever really have to go to 2019's pain as 2023's gain? Long -term program. Sure. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, just in all the years I've, co I've been coaching, I've seen the process. And at times where things didn't go my way and you're upset at the time, but then down the road something happens because of that. So with that, I just have to trust that in the process. We're doing things right here. Um, no question. You look at these athletes, they love to play each for each other. They love to play for this program. Um, so we just have to keep writing it out. We kind of keep pushing forward. That's what we've been doing all year. And you know what? We've gotten a lot of payoff this year because of how they have gone about things. So it's, it's hard to predict what could or could not. Obviously, could we, we could have used her. Absolutely. But there's a reason why we don't have her this year.